So at this point, we've um, we've got out of curiosity here. Um, in our case, three hundred and eleven lines of HTML. 144 lines of CSS and 807 lines of JavaScript. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 50, 60, something. 1,262 lines of code in our project. That means we're finished, right? Maybe, maybe not. We did put in a lot of coding and a lot of work. There's still more that can be done. But I want to bring you to the concept of um, MVP. What does MVP stand for in terms of technology? Minimal viable product. Uh, we might have heard of most valuable player for MVP. But here it's minimal viable product. At what point is our product viable enough? What's the point that we can, at the minimum, start to perhaps publish it and such? I think our app is at that point. There's still things that I want to do about changing the color, the font, the text, whatever, functionality. Well, how do I save seven photos instead of one? Or maybe I want to do other things like uh, make it play sound when I delete the photo. Well, all of that, perhaps, to a certain degree, is icing on the cake. At the moment, we might have the cake, or a version of the cake. We have the ability for users to create an account, to log in and log out. We have an ability for people to save a comic, text, barcode, photo. We have the way to delete a comic, edit a comic, delete the whole thing to start over. We have all of the minimum requirements for this app. There's still stuff to do and polish, and we will. We're also going to add the ability uh, to connect to social media. I want uh, via my app to connect to Facebook or connect to Twitter and send a tweet about my app or my comics and such. I want the ability for the person to contact me as the developer. I'm having trouble. Please help me. There's still things to add to it. But what I want to do here, I believe we're, we're at a phase of MVP. We're at a, a point where we can start to publish it. Maybe even further for testing, beta testing. I can publish it to a point that I started to get my friends and family, hey, check out my app, download it, and tell me what you think about it. You hate it? OK, let me fix it. So we're at a point that we can start to, to do that. So next step. Publish to app stores. I haven't written notes in a notepad file in a while, so let me just save this. 1808, what is it today? The 9th? <coughs> uh, minimal viable product. Um, our app is evolved enough to start to publish it, to start to get feedback from people, to improve it, well, um, OK, publishing to the App Store. Now, for, for this class, just for the credit of it and such, when we get to this part of it, this is the part that you can make this up because we're going to create accounts at the real app stores. And you can make it up and put fake information and all of that. That's fine for, for the grade of the class. Uh, if you'd like to set this up for real, like you really want to publish this app or another app in the future, you can do that too. So you can decide for the moment to create a real publisher account or a fake one. Grade-wise, 
it won't matter which of these you do. But if you feel like, I, I, I don't want to show this app, uh, uh, it's not real, it, it's not going to go out to the real world yet, you can create a fake account if you'd like. Well, what this uh, requirements for this are, uh, create an account at the app stores, upload your app, create a listing for it, publish it. And then people would be able to download it from their app store. Well, actually, we need to back up a little bit. Upload your app. Right now, it's still at a point that it's in debug mode. It's not quite there yet to actually publish it to the real app stores. I'm going to give you two links um, for you to look at as homework. And then we will do those things together. But I'm going to give you a link to the final instruction about publishing your app as a real as a real app because right now we're in developer mode in the network folder I put a simple text file there signing the app and it has a link to the official Microsoft documentation over the weekend take a look at it Try to see if you can do what's there. We'll, we'll do it together, but at least you take a look at it over the weekend. Because what we need to do is this app needs to be changed to release mode. And simply by going to release mode doesn't mean it's going to be ready. You have to we have to create a developer certificate. We have to approve, we have to get this, like we have to vouch that this is our app. I'm the developer, I represent it, this is my app. It's in the it's in that in, in that link in the instructions. So actually here create the release version of the app. Then we can create the account and upload the app and create the listing and publish it. So homework. Read the documentation of how to quote finish or sign your app. I'm also putting it in these notes, which I'll put into the network folder. And that's one thing. And the other thing, create a an account at an app store. The ones to choose from are Google Play, iTunes, or one more I'll mention right here. The Google Play and iTunes um, are not free. I believe it's either $29 or $39 to create your account on Google Play to start to publish your apps, even if you're selling your apps for free, even if you're giving away your apps for $0 or $0.99. Cents. iTunes costs $99 per year, one-time fee. Okay, well, if I'm asking you on the homework creating account here because your final project will be to publish your app on the App Store, that's a lot that I'm asking you for. Nope. Amazon. Free. It's completely free at Amazon to create your App Store account to publish your app on Amazon. This is the one. Developer.amazon.com There's going to be several steps that are not complicated 
and we don't really have to do them in class. It's just going to be holding your. It's going to be me holding your hand about. Put your name here. Click save. Put your email here. Click save. You know we don't need to do that in class. At home, you will go to developer.amazon.com and create the account. Set it up in the basic way, such as payment method not required. Uh, you can give away your apps on Google, iTunes, Amazon. You can sell your apps at Google, iTunes, Amazon, 99 cents and up. In order for that to work, you have to set it up to put in your bank information. Mm -hmm. You have to put your routing number and account number and all of that so that you know you can get rich 99 cents at a time. Mm -hmm. But it's not required for the class here. You will be able to create the account with, with say, you know, set that up later. And, not, and that's not going to be required for this class for you to uh, put your bank information into it. And of course, it's safe. People ask, do I, do I really want to put it in there? Well, of course. If you want to get paid for the apps you're selling, you need to put your bank info so that Amazon pays you or iTunes pays you. But not for this class. So you're going to set it up in a basic way. And this is what I'm saying. Real or fake info is OK. Just make sure you note the email and password you used to create the account because we're going to use that information on Tuesday so at the very least look through the documentation the link up there try to do it at home if you want we'll do it together definitely create an Amazon developer account at that address note your email and password so that we can get into it on Tuesday and then when we come back on Tuesday then once we've got an account I'll show you how to set it up and use it after we publish our app for release we'll see all that that in entails my plan is that on Tuesday we do get to a point where we actually publish this app for real and then that'll probably take half the day or less on Tuesday um, then we're going to work on our app a little bit more to add more features to release a version 2. Then on, uh, on that Thursday, that'll be the um, Thursday will be the, the last day of class to do a little bit more coding, a little bit more polishing, and releasing a version 2 of the app on the App Store. And the final assessment, which is to show, plus other details, which is to show that you've created the account, you've uploaded the app, you don't have to go through it all the way that you do really publish it to the world, but you will. I will need to see uh, an account that you've created, I will need to see that you've been able to upload your app and the other assets and things we'll talk about and, and other details and that'll be the final assessment. It's you know hard to believe but next week, Tuesday, is the last day of class. Part 3, Thursday, Thursday. Part 3 of the class is very short. Because the semester of summer ends on the 18th, Saturday. But we're going to be able to cover the things I want to cover here in the next two days that are coming. But that's the last day of class on the 16th. And whenever I do this three-month class, do you know what happens on the last day of class? What? We have a potluck. So you can bring pizza if you want. I'm going to uh, put out right here a little potluck sign-up sheet if you'd like to bring anything. You can uh, put your name here and um, say what you want to bring. I'm going to put number one right here, Victor's Famous Cheese Dip. So hopefully someone brings chips. And, uh, anything you'd like to bring or not. It won't affect your grade, don't worry about it. Uh, but right there's going to be a potluck sign-up sheet for the last day of class, which is the 16th. So in between doing the final things of, of class, uh, you know, we'll have the assessment, we'll have the final uploading and coding and a little bit of that, and then uh, a little potluck, and then suddenly the class is over. But if you look back on everything, uh, we've been covering a lot, right? Uh, basic, intermediate, advanced coding setting up this environment, testing on devices, we still need to do the real publication and such, and, and we'll do that on Tuesday. But that's what's coming for next week. General questions? Yeah? On the code, do we minimize it? 
it will do it for us when we uh, when we do release it will compress it and uh, encode it um, so that your code is not reverse engineerable so we won't have to minify it ourselves we could I guess but it'll do it for us any other general questions okay so that will be it for today we'll do a little bit of lab time I'll put the final version of my code in the folder and we'll have some lab time